total change of subject for a moment. I want to get this in because next week, Google's chief, Sundar Pichai, will testify in front of the House Judiciary Committee. Our next guest is a member of that committee. And I want to know what Keith Rothfuss, a Republican from Pennsylvania, will ask the Google guy. What's your question to him? Stuart, how are you today? Good well, to be with you. It's, we're excited to have uh, the Google CEO coming in. I, th I think we've been looking forward to this for a long time. We're glad he's coming. Uh, Google has a story to tell, and we want to hear it. We certainly have a lot of questions. There's been a lot of uh, allegations of bias in the way their searches are conducted, uh, their, the way their algorithms work. You know, Google is a company that has a lot of power, great power. With great power comes great responsibility. Uh, there, there needs to be fairness, uh, transparency, and so I'm looking forward to, to the CEO's responses to our questions. So, do you get the feeling, that I get the feeling, that the Googles of this world are really Big Brother? I mean, they know everything about so many people on this planet. I mean everything. And now they're going to monitor our moods and our children. You know, that really worries me. I'm sure, does it worry you? Well, understand that yeah, you can say Big Brother, but they're a business. They're looking for ways to make money. Uh, and they master the art of going after all this data. But again, there's great responsibility when you have that kind of data. And consumers should understand how that data is being used. Well, we look forward to next week, um, and we'll be concentrating what questions you ask Sundar Pichai from Google, because it's going to be very interesting. There's a great deal of pressure on these guys at the moment. Congressman, I'm so short, sorry it was so short. Huge news day. I'm sure you understand. But thanks for being Good with us. Good to be sir. with you today. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye. Trade and markets.